One of the most important pieces of software to really maximize the use of your viewboard is what we call the My Viewboard software. Now you can get the My Viewboard software by heading to myviewboard.com slash download, or you can go to myviewboard.com and sign in, and you'll see a little download arrow here at the top and these is the different versions of the My Viewboard software you can download. Now, we make various versions of the whiteboard software, so you'll notice there's a Windows version, um, an Android or APK version, a Google Play version, and then an uh, App Store version. So this would be for like your uh, MacBook or your iPad or something like that. So the Windows one is pretty straightforward. If you click on Windows, it'll just download and you can install that version. Uh, if you're running a Chromebook, or a Chrome tablet, you're gonna to want to access the Google Play Store. And the way that you can do that or install it or deploy it to your different devices is you need to one, be the Google admin, uh, go to your Google admin console. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to devices, Chrome, apps and extensions, and then this option called users and browsers. From there, you'll be able to go in and use the plus sign to add an app. And you'll see here the little Dorito or the Google Play button. What you're gonna wanna do is click on that. And then it's going to allow you to search for the My View Board software. So I'm gonna type in My View Board, perform my search. You'll see here, here's the whiteboard software. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna select it or essentially enable it for all users in your organization. Now we've already enabled it here and you'll see that it's in our list and we have it set to allow install. So people would have to manually go get it and add it to their device. However, we can also come in here and force install it or force install and pin it to the Chrome OS taskbar. So again, if you're using Windows, you can just download it directly. If you're using uh, Chromebooks or Chromeboxes, you're gonna need to go into the uh, admin console and deploy the app out. Now, if you're using a MacBook or an iPad, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is go to the App Store and you can just download that manually uh, for your device. Uh, keep in mind that it only runs on M1 and M2 processors uh, if you're using a MacBook. And then the final version that you saw there was just the APK file. And so if you're not familiar with that, that's essentially just an Android installation file. So if I press the home button here uh, and I go to the Viewboard OS, you'll see that the My Viewboard APK is already installed on the Viewboard itself. Now, when you open the My Viewboard software for the first time, uh, you'll notice that there's no activation or enrollment. And so if we want to be able to activate or enroll the software into our entity so we can keep track of it or we can change settings kind of from a, a management perspective, what we're gonna need to do is go into the settings, go to the letter I, and you'll see here that this one's already enrolled because we enrolled it with the manager tool. So again, we're on the Viewboard OS side. So if you're unfamiliar with my Viewboard Manager, go watch our My Viewboard Manager uh, enrollment series so you can see how to enroll or auto activate the software. Now, if we're on a Windows device or a PC device and we have the My Viewboard software installed, it's going to look like this. And if I want to enroll this software, I'm gonna to go to the settings, go to the letter I, and you'll see that this one's already been enrolled, but if I don't have an enrolled, there'll be an enroll button. And the way I can enroll it is I can just type in uh, on my view board at your domain, and it will automatically enroll or add that software instance into your uh, entity, your My View Board entity, and then you'll have the ability to manage it. This is also the same process if you're on an iPad or if you're on a MacBook. So really the only uh, difference in activation is if you're using the Viewboard OS only and you're using My Viewboard Manager to enroll your board, it will automatically enroll the software as well. If you're using Windows or a MacBook uh, or even Chrome OS, what you're gonna wanna do is open the software and click the enroll button to add the software instance.